What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we've got some really exciting news. We're uh, finally going to be getting in to working on a project that I've wanted to start on for a long time. Um, might as well just show you what we've got here. I picked up this shopping cart from a buddy of mine a while ago. Not sure where he got it from, but I picked up a motor from him, and it was stuck in the cart, so the cart came along with it, and I kind of just hung on to it in case I ever needed it for scrap or if I came up with a fun idea. And a buddy of mine actually came by and dropped off this Predator 212cc engine. And I think we know what we're going to do. I think we're going to use some Boosted Boys inspiration. And I think we're going to make ourselves a little uh, drift shopping cart go-kart. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. This is going to be pretty sick. We were going to try and throw the Predator in my son's mini bike here. But I don't quite think it'll fit. Um, so shopping cart, go-kart, boys. I hope y'all are as excited as I am. This thing's going to absolutely rip. And you better believe once it's running, this Florida man is going to go grocery shopping with this bad boy. So you guys make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned. And uh, we'll be back here soon with some modifications. And once this thing is done, I guarantee we'll be ripping. Be sure to like and subscribe again. Thanks for stopping by. I'm super excited for this project. I absolutely can't wait to get started, and I hope you guys are excited too. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to follow along with the fun. Welcome back, everyone. Figured I'd start getting the uh, shopping cart broke down. A lot of this hardware looks kind of rusty, so get them all soaked with some good old PV blaster. And get this thing torn down. I'm going to chop it up. Drop the basket down on the frame pretty much and then start building from there. I'm really excited to see what I can do with this and see what kind of wild, dangerous, ignorant creation we can come up with. Uh, like I said in the last video, guys, if you're interested, curious to see what we make with this thing, with this little Predator engine here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow along. I'll um, be sure to keep you guys updated along the way. And uh, we're going to have fun while we do it. So like the video, be sure to subscribe, and we'll be back here soon. Definitely doubt I'm going to reuse any of this stuff because it all looks pretty rusted out. But at least keep it all together just so I know what goes where. We'll have an easier time putting this thing back once we get it all, once we get it all cut up and welded back together. Let's go. All right, guys, we're back. I'm making some progress here. And uh, this piece should, should come right out. It's going to fight me, though, because I'm trying to do this with one hand. There we go. There we go. I'm making progress now. So my plan is cut this stuff off, make it as flat as it can be. And then mount this piece directly to the base, get the basket on, and hoping to build some kind of mount back here to get the engine mounted in the back. And then we'll work on our drive shaft, uh, drive axle, and uh, steering components. So we'll just keep on updating you as we make some progress. So here's where we're at. Got the basket off. Got all that taken apart, all that rusty hardware. And then, like I said, we're just going to cut it as flat as we can and move the bar to remount it straight to the bottom. And then we'll work on a mount for the motor and just keep on building off of it from there. <laughs> 